Good evening. Welcome to episode 22, Stay Smoky TV. I am Ron, a.k.a. <clears throat> the Urban Leaf, a.k.a. Mr. Stay Smoky himself, a.k.a. Top Shelf Ron, a.k.a. Mr. Worldwide, a.k.a. Island Ron, a.k.a. They hate me because they ain't me. A.K.A. The Cigar Goat. Is that like nine, yo? I, I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> nah, I don't even. Zone, 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 zone. What up, what up, what up? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, the nephew, A.K. Mr. Cultural Dope himself. Young is in charge. Kanye and Drake. Trade no smokes. Let's get into this episode, man. Okay, we, you know, we're back again. We haven't been here in a while. We're back live at the same time. Home, party. baby. We home. We home. We home. Episode 22. 22. Um, episode 22. Yeah, we came a long way, yeah. yeah Double deuce. My yeah. nickname, baby. So, yeah, we, we back home. Double up. Uh, before we get into anything, we, we got our new uh, Facebook page up. Make sure you look it up. Or you can just follow us on all platforms, Stay Smoky TV. Yes. Uh, make sure you check us out on YouTube. Like and subscribe and comment on all our episodes. I wanna you know, make sure you way. catch up, you know. So. You're passionate. Mm-hmm. My octane low. All right, so <clears throat> we're just going to go to the smokes first. What you got now? No, you Rotation different today. Rotation different. Yeah, well, look. Drano, would you like to talk some flavor of hookah and smoke? Man, listen, man. Exotic. Listen, man. Drano said he's going to bring some hookah today, man. So I got some plum cherry kiwi smoke hookah. Plum cherry kiwi. Yeah, I like that. 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 I haven't rated. Did you, come, did you blend that shit up? Yourself? I blended myself. Hand blended. Oh, okay. Wow, that's hand blended. This motherfucker, like a hookah girl. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <solid. laughs> yeah, man. That's what I'm doing, Go man. Let me get you some because I got to read this Jimmy J. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just... Wait, before that. you start, hold on. Could I, could, I, could, I, could I interrupt? Go ahead, chat. Before you guys start hitting us up, talking about y'all supposed to smoke cigars and all that, Man, on stay smoky is smoke what you have, bro. Smoke what you have. You smoke cigars, you can smoke hookah, you can smoke 420. Fact, you can do whatever that. you want to do. Crack man. That thing ready. I'm gonna show you. Only you thing do. I'm gonna say you can't smoke what? is a damn cigarette. You we ain't can, having no cigarettes. You can do this. We ain't having no Get it, son. That's right. Go ahead, son. We ain't smoking no opium mm, in here either. This motherfucker. Damn, yo. That's what you, you mixed do. it? Yeah, yeah double yeah, up. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he got issues. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, brother. Continue. Hold on. Oh, oh, before that, before you get this, let's uh, toast with our new mugs. I feel like Sally Jesse Raphael over here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Put so the I, piggies turn, up. Turn, turn your mug. Yeah. Some of them got two. So, so what I would like to know <laughs> is like, why I only got one set, fucking set, logo? Set, because set, because that's, I, that's a show piece. Yo, look. That's a show piece. going to stop being the welfare <laughs> case of the guy. <laughs> well, well, that's a show piece. But let's toast the black Al Sound guy for creating yeah. these words for us and shit. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like Sally Jesse Raphael dying and, and, keep, and keep that pinky out. It's exquisite. Yeah. So if y'all if y'all hear me slurping, pause all yeah. episodes wow. from the. That's how you do with the mug, right? Come back. Yo, you is wild. But on, while we still toasting, <sighs> let's go ahead and toast again. My man nephew just celebrated his birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, I wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. You never are. Good look at Fire Smoke. Been about seven years. You never here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good look. Even though he was shooting fake money with a. Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. We're going to talk about that. I need your production lineup. We're going to talk about that. What's your cigar? So I'm smoking the Liga T52. Um, drinking some Don Julio Blanco. I'm smoking a little hookah. Drink a little Fiji water, man. We here today. We back. What did you say you were smoking? I mean, drinking Don Julio? Don Julio Blanco, some Fiji water. Oh. What's the stick? Oh, the T52? T52. You know what I'm saying? You already know it's going to be rated a 1,000. Yeah, no doubt. 
Get some of that tea. Get some of that tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to smoke this cigar. I met the guy in Dallas what? when I was there a couple of weeks ago. I'm call him up for you? Call him with the, the lady. Okay, all right. For my guy, uh, Jay from Definition Cigars. I'm smoking his anniversary cigar of five años. And he gave me a release to read. So, he said, this cigar was created in celebration the five-year anniversary of Definition Cigars. The <coughs> choice of going with Maduro was to highlight the Maduro forward approach of the brand relative to the core line. This is a 575 by 54 box press of the total. Mm. So the blend concept is not being disclosed, but the composition is made up of tobaccos that have been used in blends of definition cigars over the five years. It's considered a full body offering. So I'm gonna cut like this, smoke this. Have you ever? And smoked? I'm still on my island shit with this uh, Appleton Estates rum. Have you ever smoked any of his stuff, cigar? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He came. I just game. had the last joint, with the, the, my favorite joint, with the, the joint with the blue. Oh, with the light blue, blue, light blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you ain't give him the full disclosure, though, bro. You give truthful ratings on oh, the yeah, state yeah, smoking. So, yeah, I told, I told him. I said, bro, we gonna rate your cigar, and we gonna rate it, and we gonna rate it. All right. So, uh, did he send a box? He just sent one. I, I bought it when I was down there. Uh, I told well, if you come to Houston with us, he should be there. Yeah. He out of Dallas, Texas. The crazy part, he from the DMV, but he live in Dallas, Texas. It's crazy how all of us met this dude in different locations. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I met him in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so, yeah, when he had the party last year in Houston, I didn't go. He had okay. a party. Oh, okay. Uh, a event or mm-hmm. So... Let's talk about <coughs> the nephew. Thirty-three shades of black. Thirty-three shades of black nephew. It was a production. Fake money, small ass uh, wine. What's that shit called? Small ass champagne fountain excursion. Mm-hmm. One shit hold two gallons, and the thirsty motherfuckers was drinking it. That's one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Cause I was about to go in. I saw that motherfucker. That shit looked like a candle, but go ahead. It hold two gallons of champagne. <laughs> It was a great, yo, it was a great event. It was a great production. A lot of people came out, you know. Uh, the DMV showed up. Chicago showed up. New York, they got drunk the night before, so they couldn't make it on I-95 in time. Damn. The people who I, I really wanted to be there showed up. Pops, you know, my pop showed up. Yo, your pop was here? Yeah. Why you ain't tell him to call me, bro? Dre No Smokes was there? I about to say, you know. Black Ice was there. Black Ice was there. Mm-hmm. Yo, Black Ice got everybody drunk, yo. Black guys walk in. That's his M.O., bro. Yo, I, think let, I, let me tell you. I, I think I showed up drunk. Yeah, yeah, let, yeah, yo, yeah let me yeah, tell you something. Was, the second time you did that. I was fried, fried hard. He was, fried. was wet. Yo, he was fried, fried hard. The second, third time you did that. Fried yo, hard. He stepped, was that Shirley's birthday that time? You Every like birthday, that? yo. Yeah. <laughs> he stepped on when, when Drano stepped on the sidewalk. He like he Michael Jackson glide all the way to the yeah. front door. That's not accurate. Yeah. yeah. I said, damn. I had, a, I had a theme music playing in my head. And then Black Ice. He had his Cartier's on. Nah, yo, I don't no, think I just caught you. I don't know, I got the photos of yeah. And then Black Ice coming with the big diamond joint of the Don Julio. No, we yeah, well, I gave you the Kevin Hart joint. The Kevin Hart joint? That's, that's actually at the crib. No, that's that right there. Yeah. It's, that's right there. Yeah. It's right there. It's at the crib where it needs to be. It was a great time, man. Tell me about the money gun shit. So, so I had a whole, I had a whole uh, production, man. I did a little speech. You shooting up Usher Bucks? No. Uh, Usher Bucks, fuck that. I had a whole production, man. I did a speech. Um, I played two songs, and then the drop dropped. And then everything was planned out, so when it got some more money, more problems. Um, because the one part where May says, if you didn't know me 91, you better know me now, right? So, you know, I'm the youngest one, so I was born in 91. Right. So I love, I always, I, that, that song always meant a lot to me. You know, it, it just it just builds something up. Okay. So I had the money gun hidden. I had the money gun hidden. So when more money, more problems come on, and that part goes, I shot the money gun in the air, and then the party went to stage two. Okay. That's what's up. That's kind of catchy. Yeah, that's it. Next time you'll get like at least two hundred dollars worth yeah, of ones, ones or something. Yeah. What's your birthday, yo? I don't need to pick up my money. 
Oh, oh, everybody in there is going to pick it up. You said what? I pick it up. They picked it up anyway. I would have picked up enough to pay for that bottle I bought you. <laughs> 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 they picked it up anyway. They still picked up your fake money just like they picked up them bottles off the table they weren't supposed to take. Man, they picked the bottles off the Wait, table. Wait, hold on. Not, Not only did they pick... Wait, could you, yo, real it, quick, could you tell us a story on how your sticks got missing? That was the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was God. I mean, it was a mistake, right? No, hell no. Tell us your story. I got, all right, so I put the cigars down on Shirley's table, right? Mm -hmm. I had a business meeting with Houston, then I had a conference call with Houston. When I came out, I didn't pick my cigars up. I went to the human room, got my other cigar. I I wanted to league it up. I wanted to, you know, full body hit. Then I sat to the front all night. That shit hit me like that. Already? Yeah, that shit. God damn. <laughs> That's an early so, go. Oh, oh, so then great. I was up there with Rodney smoking. Shirley gets up to leave. I said, yo, when I'm done with my smoke, I'm rolling out. So I'm packing everything up. And I look at the table. I don't see the cigar. Now I'm moving. I'm, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm walking in my car. I'm walking to all the spots. I, 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 I be hiding stuff when I get drunk. So I know it's there when I come back. Can't find nothing. I'm moving furniture. Can't find nothing. Now. I tell everybody, can't find the cigars, make a big deal, call people thieves, and, yeah, I hope I misplaced it, I don't want, you know, all, all this other stuff. Shirley makes a post, she gets up and comes back to the lounge when it's closed and moves the furniture again and checks the cameras and everything, right? Can't see nothing. A birdie told me, stay smoky TV, uh, a birdie told me that somebody went to the front door and locked the front door. And said, we don't find these cigars. We ain't leaving. Stuff was moved around. Everybody was tired. All of a sudden, they leave. I come the next day. I'm still kind of hot. My man Mango said, yo, nobody looks for stuff like it's yours. Like you own it. So look again. So I'm looking. I moved the furniture. Remind you, just one piece of furniture I moved. I moved the furniture about five times. You could not see it. Now all of a sudden, I moved this furniture. And it's dead. And it's dead. So you ain't check the camera see if anybody dropped? We we did all that. Shirley said something about the cameras. Was the ca the, the angle, the, yeah, yeah, the new so Wi-Fi. that's somebody who know the angles of the camera, bro. That might have been an inside job. Mm -hmm. I saw the video. I think the motherfucker that stole them had licked all of them first and put it back in the pack. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. So, but <laughs> that shit happened to me on my retirement party. Motherfucker stole my sticks. But so. my my thing with, with with the birthday cigars. I appreciate the birthday cigars and everything, but it's really the principal. And then one of the cigars was my engagement cigar, like an engagement gift. So it, it meant a whole lot to me. So mm -hmm. I was really mad about that. And then my thing is I give to everybody. You my, never gave me shit. My mental, you know what I'm saying? Speaking uh, of my, birthday my cigars. Energy. I'm not done speaking. Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Everybody know I oh, oh, old this motherfucker. Everybody know I old Dre cigar from you know, old Dre cigar like the episode. But, no, football season's officially over, so you get that, right? So football he, season's been over. Here you go. Since the beginning this of get Obis X Del Deserto. Yes, sir. Oh, you oh, like desert? That you know. Yeah, it be tw Obis twentieth. This is what winning looked like. And for my brother right here, who got everything, but I bet you he ain't got this. Here go a nice Placencia mm. Year of the Rack. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know what, yo? For Neff's birthday, I never give him a cigar. Never. Because I already, this motherfucker, he got every cigar he want. So I, 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 I get him a bottle because I'm like, yo, I'll get you a bottle. I know you're a tequila drinker. I get him a, a bottle that I think he ain't had or he may not have had in a while. Well, I, I so, bought him 21 episodes of bottles, so I ain't buying uh, no bottle. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. But I know I got I got the good red shit. Some of the good red shit he may not have, but I know I can get him. Yeah, That's I, like I, when I, I get Shirley, I said, oh, yeah. I, I'm like, yo, yeah, I know yeah. you ain't yeah. got I, this. I don't have the good red you shit, know, yo. So, you know. But I'm, I'm glad you had a good birthday party. I mean, yeah, I had a great time. I get you know? this motherfucker groovy blue. Yeah, I had I actually had clothes, I had clothes on and everything, yo. I know, I saw you with that little I don't even stuff. remember what you had. You look like a matador, yo. Like you was in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you had that little gold shit that was hanging out with the shit. I saw you, yo. Yeah, yeah you like a matador, bro. I saw you. 
I, I, I was in Jamaica, but I saw you. I, 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 I got to look at the pictures to see what he had on. Yo. Look, you probably know. know what you had on. I don't. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I was, yo, I was, <laughs> came in there, swabbed Devin there. So, well, yeah, so I mean, I missed his birthday. I was in Jamaica. Me and the missus was in Jamaica. You miss it every year. It's a tradition. It's like, now, it's not even like I get mad. It's just yeah, a tradition. We, we our annual Super Bowl slash Valentine's trip. We was out there, you know. It's your tradition. Watched uh, Super Bowl on the beach again. This year, they was doing it a little weird on the resort. So. If Ron ever makes it at my birthday party, it's going to be 75 to 80 degrees outside. And you're going to be in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> So you heard this it year, well, another reason was that last year you just had to pay, you know what I mean, and they you, you pay for the ticket or whatever. So this year they was doing it different. They was like, you gotta buy a bottle to reserve your seat. I was like, that's not a problem. So I don't, you know, I don't drink wine. Me and my wife, we don't drink wine. So I'm looking in the champagne section. I was like, yo, just get me a bottle of the normal, like, the no regular. They the wanted red red. like 150 bucks for it. Right. They ain't had. It. Then there was some other kind of champagne they, they, they had. They had some Dom P for 350 I'm like, I'm not paying for Dom P for that. Yeah. So everything under that was like 50 bucks, bro. Like 50 $55 wines and shit. So I was like, well, just give me this wine. So then the next day, the lady come. Oh, the shipment came in. We got the other champagne you asked for. I asked for Vue Clicquot. The normal shit. Yeah, it's like Beaujolais. Yeah, Swan, <laughs> Zell, Swan, Zell, Swan. She was like, oh, we got that. We got that. So we was able to get that. Mm-hmm. So that secured us a front row seat, bro. We was like right up the front. I seen I, I mean? seen the photos. Yeah, we was sitting up the front, big screen, it's music and shit. Out there watching the, the Usher show, mm-hmm. you know. Balling with the Bowens. You know, and then we had dinner on the beach. We had a photo shoot on the beach, you know. Even though we was in, uh, what was it, level three? Level three over there. Or Security. Security. Yeah. Yeah. We left out the resort, went up in the grill, went up to uh, Rick's Cafe. No, I didn't jump off the thing because I can't swim. No, you really can't swim? Hell no. But then it wasn't, at first it wasn't even. That's the black people. side of them. <laughs> at first it wasn't even letting people jump off the joint because the tide was out. So you could look where the rock oh, was. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was yeah. like, that shit was like five feet. Oh, that fuck that. But they said that shit like 61 feet. Damn. Damn. But nah, man, before we left, motherfuckers were jumping off the ass shit. Mm. I ain't doing that. I gotta have some edges I can go to. Y'all they see me hold me up. Y'all see me drinking out these that mugs, Joe, right? So. We're gonna start mass production soon on the website. Oh, yeah, merch coming soon. Merch coming know. soon. In house. Well, you wanna transition to while we was uh, on Jamaica about Bob Marley? Oh, yeah. So, I saw the Bob Marley movie. Dre saw it as well. Um, my question about Bob Marley that like just seeing the movie being that you know I guess it was like a biopic or whatever do you think that him you know having a like a white uh, grandfather gave him you know make him be fair skinned as they would say do you think he would have been as influential if he was a a dark skin or real dark black Rastafari. No. So you, you think, I do. Do you think so? I do because. But so how would he like? So if he was like dark skin, you think he would have been? Because you know, I think he got shot. Been, he left and went over to UK. I think so. You think he would have been accepted over there in London and all that shit? Of course I, they accept him. At I home. do, and I and I think harder. that because. Okay, this was mid to late seventies, right? Yep, seventy six. And. It wasn't a social media platform back then. A lot of times, people heard your music before they knew what you looked like. So they identify with your you know, soul. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So they, they heard him before they saw him. And, yeah. and watching the movies, he wasn't a self-centered guy. Right. So he really didn't put his image on his album covers like that. Mm-hmm. So they really didn't know how he looked until they seen him in concert. Or he did some type of interview or something. Okay. So... I, I think, well, yo, his music still resonates now. They Definitely. still say he's the most popular person in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Forty some years after his death, yo. Yeah. So, I, I, I think it was. I believe it. I, well, he would have. I, I believe it would have been a lot harder for him <coughs> because he would have hit that barrier, and once he hits that barrier, that's when he would have to find himself and really buckle down and be like, yo, I am him. This is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Accept it. 
I'm here for the people. Let's make this thing happen. That's what I personally believe. Now, some people might say no. Some people might say yay. Yeah. But I feel like he always had, because of who his grandfather was, mm-hmm. he had that, that little outlet, that little little extra. Well, it, it hurt him it hurt more him. than it helped him. But at the same time. With his own people, yo. Like yeah, that, his but own that's mother what, doesn't want to take him to Delaware but, because of the color of his skin. skin. But I no, I understand that. But what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is, it hurt him at home. But I think him, if it was reversed, it would have helped him more at home and hurt him in the long run. You get what I'm saying? Got you. Yeah, that's all. I got you. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I think it was a good move, dude. You killed me with the sprite. Bro. Yo, listen, I'm smoking hookah. I don't have to drink straight today. I mean, you got to do what you want. Yo, you a grown man. Yo, you see how he looked at you? Yeah, he looked at me like he was going to the shit out of me. I'm in hookah lounge mode, yo. This is what I do when I'm in hookah lounge I know, I've been in there with you. Yeah, Just don't yeah. sit on top of my chair, yo. Like, yeah. how you be doing? I don't know. Like, I ain't going to have nobody coming through twerking. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. So, yeah, that, that was that. So, let's ask our, let's ask our special guest. Oh, yeah. Shout out to... Harlow, who was supposed to be here at 6 o'clock, and he ain't come. What's his name? Harlow. Harlow. No show. No show. Harlow. No show low. Let no me say this. Let me look right into this damn camera. Go ahead, yo. No show low. Harlow, man, you had a talk at Dan Cigar Lounge, and you wanted me to talk to Ron to get you on the damn show. No show love. Ron pulled the, pulled the trigger said, yo, I'm going to get Harlow on the day. I said, my man, because he's been asking. Then you no-showed on me, bro. This, now, this counts as my second no-show. I'm going to take the hit on this one, too. I ain't asking nobody else to come on, yo. Evidently, Dre ain't got a pulling power. Well, no. He got- I take this one. Because he came to you, but I called him. He confirmed with me. Okay, thank he you. He confirmed with me to today. Okay. So and you, we had a couple conversations after the initial confirmation where he said, I'll see you at six. So okay. so you got a no show and you got a no show. Yeah, we both we yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. So Ron So you got advice of you. Ron can no longer say do, do we gotta go to the text message? No. Okay. Ron can no longer say, at least my guests show up then. Yeah, yeah. All my guests all my guests are showing up. No, I'm, no, I'm saying he no, I'm used to say that to me. Because he time. said I got to invite you. All my, all my guests are showing up. You only invited Shirley. No. <laughs> we were saying no <laughs> last. No, so she ain't had no, no choice but no. to be there. <laughs> you don't be in the table. Who about? Who about? Z. Okay. No, she ain't. But that ain't happy. She ain't been on yet. That ain't happy yet. You can't. You gotta wait till after. I promise you. I promise you. Hold on. Do the, uh, do the divas. Do that count on me? I asked for that one. I asked for the divas. If they no, they all said they in. Right. So if they come, that's my, that's my, that's, that's my, show. That's okay, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if they don't come, yeah. even, I reached out. And, and guess what? That's my show. And then we go on the Then we go on the Petworth. Tracy, that, Tracy says she wants some, she needs some blankets for the episode. I got her. Yeah, Tracy says she I needs some blankets. Okay. I got four bottles at the house. Yo, no, I just thought about, that's going to be one of our biggest episodes, meaning platform-wise, because it's three of them. Mm-hmm. We might have to bring two six-foot-long tables or something. No, they just sit around and enjoy it. Dan said we can get the VIP. And we can oh, shoot over at Joe. I'll do it on the post table. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Boom. I like that. I like that. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Shout out to uh, No Show Low. You ain't no shout out to No Show Low. <laughs> you say something? Mm-hmm. You ain't got yeah. no shout out to No. Oh, okay. He crossed you, Ron. Yo, we should your neighbor. <laughs> we should go over there and throw rocks at the house. <laughs> yo, give me Carlito, uh, Carlito yo. I already, we already broke one. Right? Uh, they give me, give me Suave Mente wrong. Nah, that, that's, we gonna put it right there. <laughs> so what else we got? That man uh, said that's wrong. That man looked like a Suave Mente wrong. That's how I used to look, yo. Like, you know. Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he got a sweatsuit on. <laughs> With what? Without what, Dre? No hoodie. <laughs> No, no draw. <laughs> 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 hey, yo. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. You almost died. You know what I'm saying? That would have been classic. Damn, yo. I wasn't ready for that one, yo. Yo, you don't get no mic no more, Black. <laughs> you fired. Man. Nah, yo. Nah, nah, nah. Again? Nah. We, we, so, we, we got decks on the list, man. <laughs> yeah. So, y'all, that Shay Sharp and Mike Epps shit. Y'all think that shit was stage? You think it was a nah? 
Yo, I only nah. said because three days after that, I saw on Netflix he got a new special that's on there right now. Who? Mike Epps. New special on Netflix right now. Stand up, stand up. That, right that normally that normally don't happen that quick though, yo. When they get them specials, that shit. That's I mean, probably I know was in the work. Recorded, but. Yeah. That probably was gonna work, yo. I mean, yo, they listen, launched that shit listen, like a motherfucker. Just listen, that's yeah. smart. Right. That's smart, yo, though. Before they had they sit down, yo, Shannon Sharp up wanted some smoke, bro. But what Mike said, Mike said, if you come here, I ain't fighting a big ass. Yeah. I'm out there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my whole time. No. Yeah. 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 Brothers so don't talk that way unless, unless it's about to go left. Yeah. They both was intending for it to go left. Yeah. They were. But, you know, smarter minds and calmer minds prevailed. And they did it like they men. Money. Yeah, they they did it like men. They sat down. They squashed the beef. I respect that. So you, you know think? I mean? So do you really think it was you a man? I'm a man. Let's sit down and talk about it. Or was Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse? I'm and, sure it was a combination. Yeah, like, it was look, a combination of all you that. You don't hang like this. It's, it's a com- be, It's a combination of all that. No, yeah. I I don't I don't really think so because when it comes to what you're saying about Shannon. He's had a lot of people on his show so far that have expressed themselves and how they've been treated and everything like that. And some people say his show is negative press now because he's allowing people to express themselves on what they went through, how they how they did it, not get paid for this, that, and the third. So I don't think it was that. I think it was really two men sat down and said, listen, really? Let's get it together, yo. And then after the cameras went off, they joked and S probably said, you know I was going to fuck you up. Right? And <laughs> Shannon probably was like, yeah, I dropped you on your neck. Like shit like that. Like some real. Hey, my, some goon, com- my goon's out in the caprice right now. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just glad. I, I, it, it we see, we see Shannon get up at the at the basketball game with Memphis. I was about to say, yo, Shannon looked like he, he don't mind no smoke. Bro. At all. He, yeah, well, he like bigger now than he was when he played football. Yeah, he yo. said he do that to keep him good health. That dude's yeah. a freak, bro. Yeah. Like, I ain't, yo. Only yo. type of action I got for Shay Shay is a pistol, yo. That's it. Yo, I'm gonna look like him by Houston City all weekend. Just what next subject. <laughs> what we got next? Next, uh, next, next subject. Uh, <laughs> did you watch NBA All Star? I, I fell asleep on it. That clown shit. That shit was watch, boring. Well, man. Saturday night. I ain't talking about the game. Saturday. Oh yeah. Saturday my Saturday. my favorite part is the three point contest. I like the HBCU game. I didn't see, see that. That was at two o'clock. Yeah, I didn't well, see Saturday that. Saturday or Friday? They had a game on Friday. With, um, that's the one. No, that, the uh, Saturday. Stephen A. Which we call the coach. Yeah, no, nah, that the, it was Saturday. They was at two p.m. and then the, the skills. And it the was in Indianapolis. Yeah, but the kid Wimbenyamba, yo, he basically said, "Don't call me, don't call him no more unless y'all hoop." Yeah, that's what he, he said. He said, "If y'all ain't hooping, don't call." What are you talking about? For he basically time. said he ain't with all the clown shit. He ain't with the no defense and all that. Yeah, he yeah. trying to ball. Yeah, he was mad, yo. Yeah, yeah, because he was mad that the kid, uh, Anthony Edwards, chose to do everything left-handed. He's like, yo, I'm here to scrap. Yeah. If we going to scrap, we going to so scrap. That was the All-Star game or the rookie game? Well, he was talking about Edwards was in the uh, skills challenge. Oh. But he was like, yo, if we going to do this, we need to take it serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I like how you said that. We was talking at the lounge the other day, and you know in, like, MLB, when they have the All-Star game, whoever wins the All-Star game, you know... That's where uh, the championship's at. Like, they don't do that no more. They don't do that they no more. They stopped doing that. But I think, that, I think the NBA should do something like that, yo. Well, I think, I think the spirit of competition would be raised if they change it from east to west to U.S. versus the world. I like that. I like I that. I like the east to west form. Nah, oh, nah, man. fuck that. I it's like east, it's, a, it's classic, but it's, it's no spirit of competition in it. But when they had it's that, just when they had that. The, the the playground rules where if you the cat you the cat you pick your people you pick your I people. Ain't really like I ain't that. like that either. Like that. But yo, the East and West is classic. It's, bro. it's classic. Bro. Yeah, it's what classic like, when the half of the no, third quarter and the end of the fourth quarter they played all. They ain't even do that. They ain't do shit. that this year. But yo. what I'm telling you is, yo, it's pride in, especially from us as Americans. We believe we the baddest ball players. That's what the Olympics for, though, bro. Double O. No. Anytime, oh, anytime you play another country or a mixture of guys from another country, oh, it's a problem. It's a problem. And when you think about the past three or four MVPs, they've been foreigners. Yeah. So they going to take that personal. You know, and like, they know what they can do, too. When they, I like that, Drake. You know what they can do? If you are representing your country, 
and you made it as a all star for the NBA, now nah, you you part of the world team. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, I like that. I That's like what I'm that. Saying. No, I thought you meant just only people from overseas. No, 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 no. NBA yeah, yeah, yeah. NBA. Oh, yeah. So, so basically take, the world gets you. Yeah, yeah. You get Luka and like, Luka. So, so how they did in high school. So like in high school, they got the Nike Hoop Summit when it's the world versus the USA. There you go. I like that. Because I, I really believe, yo. It's USA basketball. Yo, it's not. The USA. tournament is in Las Vegas every year in the summer. It's the same shit. Wrong. Show. I'm telling you, yo, that'll break. It well, might only be a limited time, but, but double that'll up. bring out the spirit of competition. Double up. So Anytime now, you represent your country. country. Yeah. So now they do, that, they do that for the All-Star, right? Now you get into that USA basketball. Now some, oh, it's I heated. understand what y'all saying. It's that's, heated. That's probably a good thing. But in the world climate we live in right now, separation not good. The climate of the world we live in right now. God damn. Yo, you a politician? You watch the Bob Marley uh, movie and I, and I, and I disagree with that, yo. Yo, what are you talking? It's bad, because, yo. It's like this. It's like cigars. This shit brings us together. Yo, that I, disagree, I, 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 I disagree with that, yo. That's spirit oh, of competition. I like the old school, East West, bro. Uh, I, I got you, but... Well, yo, the East West old school, guess what? It's look at the dry. quality of work you're getting from me. Did you enjoy that? Hell the total man. score was like 359, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. on, man. Horrible. Come on, yo. That shit, what, yo, I fell asleep. It was like 130 at halftime, dude. Matter of fact, yo, I woke up when Adam Silver was giving this, like, the trophy. Mm. He basically was like, well, y'all scored the most. So, I guess y'all won. Yo, that man was disappointed, yo. That shit was terrible. Yo, it was even, it was even good. God rest his soul when Kobe passed away and they made all the scores. And they said, yo. The Kobe forced them to play the fourth quarter. Exactly. He but, forced them. But I'm talking about, you remember how when Kobe passed away and they had a target score? Yeah. It's even better when they do the target score like the TBT basketball tournament does, man. Right. This shit here is garbage. Yeah, unfortunately, yo, NBA players are the worst divas out there. That's the right. only way you're going to get them boys to play harder is, like I said, if you give them some type of spirit of competition yep. or you raise their paycheck. Yep. That's the only way. Them boys gonna go out there and ball hard. Talk so, that talk, so drain away, Smith. As far as like the uh, slam dunk contest, like Stephen Trash. A. Said, they were saying Trash. that LeBron, that LeBron Trash. Uh, ruined it because he said he don't gotta participate in it. So he's saying, oh, no, no, no. LeBron, one hundred and thirty-seven years old, yeah. yo. I'm talking about over his twenty years. He said, since he ain't do it, they said the other stars follow suit and they want to. They didn't want no, to John Morant just said he'll do it for a million. So, what'd that tell you? They got to pay him. They got to pay him. And, uh, yo. Can you guys that Yo, we can, we, we, can, we can put our hands on the dunk contest that held our attention. Yeah. You know, you got the Neek and Mike. Yeah. And you got. Vince Carter, Vince Sanity, and you got the boy Gordon. Yeah, he like is. you, like you got certain ones. I, even, I, I even like the Nate Robinson one because yeah, Nate well, Robinson was getting good. You know what I'm saying? So, so, yo, to me now, the main event of the the Saturday night to me is the three pointer competition. Yeah, and I re- I really enjoyed the Steph and Sabrina. That was great. That was great, yo. Yeah, yo. That was great because like Shorty put pressure on Steph. Yeah, yeah. she put pressure <laughs> on his ass. You know what I mean? But Steph went Steph on him. Yeah. Steph went Steph on him. They hang like, on that shit by one ball. I would like to see him go against the girl from Iowa. But they say next year, they say next year, they thinking about incorporating more people into the Steph and Sabrina. Like, they. Yeah, 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 yeah. Caitlin Clark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin yo. Is she going to be in the league next year? She should she be. She should be. She yeah. should be. I think she applied for another year of eligibility I because think. she makes so much money at Iowa. Right. Yeah. You know, so. Well, and they said, said that. When they said it, because they was talking about. And they talking about the NIL deals. Right, because they already said um, when they was talking to her, and it was like her. Um, this is just you hitting it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I got my, I got my joint right here. Yeah. The yeah. deals carry over. Oh, they do. Yeah, she got okay. State Farm. Oh, okay, okay. And Nikes. And so, you know, no, no, no. She make a lot of money just from the NIL. Yeah, that's what the I'm saying. National image and likeness. No, that's a whole different pot. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the school game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the school like, game. Like the girl Angela Reese, she make like three hundred thousand. Yeah, she said, "Yeah, I make more." And just yeah, yeah, right. They're going over. They ain't I'm not. No she said, "I'm not." She said, "I'm not in. No, I'm not in no rush to go into Cheryl the league." Swoop said, "If she come to the league, she's just gonna be average." She said that about both of them. She said that about Reese. And and which and Iowa. Yo, I, I consider Sir, Cheryl Swoops one of the female goats, and I ain't going against it. <laughs> yep. Nah, I, I'm going against. You know her son was. You know her up. son. You know her son won the um dunk contest for the G League. Can shoot it, yo. Yes. You know her son won the dunk contest for the G League. 
Who, Cheryl Swoop? Yeah, yeah, I didn't see that. Low sidebar, I know it ain't. Low so, what? Oh, let's shout out the uh, Cross Street Tobacco. Mm-hmm. They posted yesterday, maybe for yesterday, that they closing. Pillar in the community. Pillar in the cigar community. Definitely up here. Uh, I, yeah, I, I smoked there a couple of times. I ain't even smoked there a lot, but I caught the bop yeah. out of there. I used to go to Cross Street Market, get my sushi, eat the sushi, walk out the front door, bang. So yes, I used to go down there and eat the oysters. There you go. go when when is their last day? The 31st of March. 31st of March. I think we should try to do something there before they bounce, bro. Yeah, let's get down there. Make a call, bro. Nephew. Nephew. We, we booked up for March. We booked up for Except March. Except for the very last, no, we got the last week. The last week. We got we next call, Tuesday. Man. We can do a special we day, yo. We can do a special day. All right. We can do a special I'm call, day. I'm going to call tomorrow. Call, call tomorrow. Next week. Call, 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 call tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Next week, we'll if we can get in there next week, that'd be <laughs> Now we need a driver for that one, though. Because uh, parking it. Parking it. No, it's not bad at the five. You right. Yeah. You right. And it's Tuesday. Yeah. You right. So you gonna make the call now? I'm gonna make the call tomorrow. All right. All right. I got you. So yeah. So anybody got any cross street stories they wanna? I just gave you mine. I'm ashamed to admit I've never been to cross street. Oh. Oh man. man. <laughs> never been, huh? So you never you never went to the humidor no. to get to the bathroom? I never been to cross street. Yeah, just down south hookah down there. <laughs> yo, don't you ain't hit my man, yo. That's my man. Trey. <laughs> I said what I said, yo. You ain't doing that. I said what I said. I, yo, how about this, since we on basketball a little bit still? How Carmelo Anthony feeling right now? Rich, well, I think Carmelo need to acknowledge that Coach Cole was right. And remember, we had the conversation earlier. Yeah, I agree with you. Joker got two MVPs. He got a Finals MVP and a ring, and he got a ring. And he a team player. Yeah, but you know, Melo, you know, they say he was a little difficult at times in his career. You know, and. Stop snitching. Mello. We ain't going to talk about that WB. Shout out to Mello and Bates. Yeah, I was about to say, listen, West Baltimore, I love y'all, baby. Listen, I already yo. know what it is. Listen, but we ain't yo. Gonna listen, yo. listen, yo. I love Mello. He was a hell of a player. One of the 75th baby. greatest of all time. But the trajectory you know, that, that, that Joker is on, he, he, he's, he's in a better place right now. He definitely, definitely is. And the league different now, too. Well, he got to deal with what he's in, yo. Just like the league was different for Melo than it was for Jordan. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's good. It's good. It's good. I can tell yeah. you, power puffing that, yo. Right. God dang, good, that was a rebooster. That should look like a motherfucking nub. <laughs> well, uh, he got one. Yeah, he got, he got, he got, he one, got one on his hand. One, okay. Yeah, okay. He got banging with this. Mm. And it ain't no soft blow through shit. He got banging with this. Bro. Mm. Y'all want to talk about <laughs> the Virginia tag shit? Yeah, let's talk about that. That been going on for years. The only right, thing we passed a bill now. It was already for years. Yo, it was already, already been going on for years. But note the funny thing though for that, they had the audacity to say, "Cause you're yeah, gonna cheaper the car insurance and that." No, y'all just want the money. No, that's not what it is. So. A lot of people, it's, it's that, but also is a lot of people that got the Virginia tags in Maryland yeah. is because they probably know, owe Maryland money. They owe Maryland money. Yeah. Taxes, insurance, uh, <coughs> yeah. child know, support, everything. Right, child all support. That. So, yeah. All the systems hooked up together now. Yeah, supposedly. So, supposedly. It was great when the states ain't used to talk. Oh, my God. It was yo, great back then. I'm not man. even going to lie, y'all. I remember. Yeah, 15 tickets mm-hmm. in Virginia. Yeah. Kings yeah, I, oh, remember, I remember being suspended in Virginia exclusively. I couldn't drive through Virginia, right? I heard of people with that. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't drive through Virginia for years, bro. That shit was crazy. And I never got the shit rectified. Yeah. And one time heading to Georgia, I got pulled over in Georgia. And the shit came up. They was like, oh, you suspended. I was like, that shit is just in Virginia. They was like, no, nah, when you're suspended in one state now, you suspended in all states. Yeah. Lock my ass up. Man. I remember when, Lock I, had, my ass I, remember up. when I had my CDO. My shit got fucked up. They said I can drive, still driving any state but Maryland. Yeah. What yeah. my CD I said. But Dang on it. the Maryland shit, I'm going to agree with Neff, man. It's all about the dollar. It's all about the dollar, man. Maryland is one of the worst know. fucking states there is, bro. 
And that's why so many retirees, such as myself, choose to leave Maryland after they retire. Oh, yeah. Same because it's not a retirement there's state. no benefit in that shit. At all. Everybody that retired in Maryland, well, they take their retirement and they head the fuck down south. Or the yeah. Delaware. Or the Delaware. Or PA. Because Maryland yeah. is rapist, yo. This shit ain't right. But at the, but also, if they do this, that means like... Bro, what? if you pay your fines and all that shit, I have to pay my shit to get my tags renewed. I mean, I, was, I only had two red light tickets, but still. But if they do this, right? I understand right, that, yo. That, that, that I understand. If they do this and it goes through, that means now they got to beef up NBA police. Yeah. They got to have a real, a solid... 100 man 200 man police force yo well or just the, the, invest- the investigators and the police police two, two different, different things, things I know so the investigators they send a letter out and if you don't rectify the letter they just the investigators just can come pull up your house at 5 in the morning with a tow truck and when you come and, outside and snatch that gone. I just seen pl- look when I was working on MVI I just seen plenty of uh, tow trucks come off the vehicle the, uh, the ticket enforcement police they actually have like a scanner if they drive down your street yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'll scan your tag, yeah. and if you come up hot in any type of way, they'll boot you or tow you. I remember when I was back with my right. East for a little bit, right? I'm mm-hmm. not going to name the street, yeah. but the motherfuckers came one night. Yeah. The next motherfucking day, there's about eight parking spots yeah. open. Yeah, so, shit, so... I remember, bro, my shit got booted out in front of the police station, bro. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Easy for them. <laughs> nah, so when I used to work downtown in the Central, before I got a parking pass, like, the parking pass in the garage was... You had to dare to wait for a motherfucker to die <laughs> to get one of them passes. They you had to park on the side of the streets and everything, bro, yo. You was parking on Gay Street, Ooh. Water Street, uh, Frederick, Baltimore, bro. And, uh, and, and sometimes it was a courtesy, sometimes it wasn't. And sometimes they come through, you know yeah. what I mean, hit your shit. So basically, if they come through and your shit, if you got that Virginia shit, they going to tell you. Well, they going yeah, to say let, they gonna say let because like the, pe- the places up here, that's that's uh it's 30 days no nah, but the place no i'm saying the places up here that's issuing you the tags they issue issuing you the tags with a maryland address yes, yes. which they're not supposed to be able to do the tag and title spots you, you're supposed to have a virginia address as long as you got them when they when they run your tag and that shit registered back and that sound dex number or driver's license number come back to a virginia address you good you good you know what I mean? Right. But the motherfuckers, they letting you register that shit and you got a state of Maryland ID. <laughs> like, what? What? You know? Hold up. Who could break for Dre? You know who could break. Keep rolling. <laughs> Keep rolling. <laughs> you got to get you a hookah girl, y'all. Yo, yo uh, sit on. Hookah girl coming here, motherfucker. Miss Light Skin Raw ain't going to bust my goddamn <laughs> So since football season is finally over, what y'all got to say about the um, the NFL conspiracies? It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't believe in it. You don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. I I I I, I, I think I'm a diehard Raven fan, but people look for excuses to say why their teams lost. Yeah, like take your L, get ready for next season. So you don't think like. It's nothing. I don't. I don't think it's nothing, yo. Even the referees. I think it's something so, about I mean, that. I, I do. But I do think. I mean, everybody naturally like one team or one player more than another. Uh, oh, like the point saving part of it and all that shit. That, yo, that's that's a real thing. I think. That's yeah. real. That's real. But as far as the the, the NBA like, referees, as, as far as the NFL saying, we want the Kansas City Chiefs to be in the Super Bowl because Taylor Swift going to be there. And it's going to generate X amount of dollars. Yo, she made I think that's three hundred and fifty-seven million before the season was over. Okay. Yo. So, so as far as the Super Bowl, do you think the game was better than Usher? Hell, I put the world to the A, baby. I, the Usher show, I liked it. A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people didn't like the Usher show. I liked it. I liked, I liked it. it. I was in that motherfucker. To the channel. point where I got tickets. I'm going up to Brooklyn. What you think about Jermaine Dupree socks? Yo, he had like some little schoolgirl shoes. I thought it was Louis Vuitton socks with the I don't give a fuck. Oh, the shoes look remind. What's that shoe store down here with David Bacon? David Bacon. Van Dyke and Bacon. Thank you. 
Everybody yeah, that's medical shoes. Yeah, that's medical. That's medical. Yo, yo. Yo, that's that's medical. Yo, that's medical. He was learning yeah. how to walk again, yo. Yeah. They said they thought the motherfucker was CeeLo Green. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't like nothing about them, JD. I ain't like nothing about them, bro. <laughs> His swag was a little on swag. Yo, huh? these dudes with this fashion now, yo. It's this, different. They what they call it, uh, metrosexual. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what they call it now, yo. I, 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 I can't, you know, I can't do it. The missus got the plug for the... Gucci rapping um, Rodeo Drive, you know, she called him asking about some stuff. He's like, yo, I got all this men's drip. He sent all these pictures. I'm looking at the pictures. I'm like, man, I can't wear none of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, you can wear it if you want to get joked. No, but no, <laughs> then it's like, so like when they send you the, the shit, the catalog, they, send that, yeah. they send you that shit head to toe, the sneakers and everything. I don't mm-hmm. like design of sneakers. Mm-hmm. I'm a real sneaker guy. Like, if I put them they're going to be Jordans. I wear some Louboutin what? shoes and all that, but I'm a yeah, sneaker yeah, guy. Yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. design of sneakers. Of red bottom, so I, I yeah, I do it. shoes. We know you I do, like Cartier, Dre. No, no yeah, red bottom man. sneakers. I like to look nice. Bro. The hard, hardest thing I got is some Kohans. Yeah, I can't yeah, do We're going to we're we're have to reevaluate your closet, brother. He got them Crocs. <laughs> That's different, baby. Everybody know that. Man, sometimes you step out, man. You I did. I stepped out my birthday. I had some more. I was like, oh, late. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, that uh, like Dan the anniversary, the motherfucking nut huggers you had. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was swag, yo, yeah, I was swagged out. Motherfucker yo. could count his sperm count, bro. Them motherfuckers are <laughs> so tight. I was, I was on my like, grown man swag. Damn, I was on my golf swag, baby. Oh man, that shit was funny, yo. You pants is little. You would have been able to bend over and grab no club, motherfucker. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just dropped. He couldn't get his ball out of the hole, yo. His pants is tight as a hole, man. God damn, man. That shit oh, was terrible, man. man. Oh, my God. Don't wear that no more, now. <laughs> Not no more, yo. We're 45 minutes in. We still don't have that. your guests here. Yeah, we still ain't got no guests. You got something no to say? No show low. Okay. No show and my, low. Yo, yeah, call man, him. Yo, call my him. My man Chico could have been sitting right there. My man Chico could have been sitting right there. Well, Chico, he, Chico got an open door. He, Chico, you know. Nah, don't tell him. Call him, yo. Nah, don't call him. No, he good. No, 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 call. No, he gonna show. He gonna show up at seven times. Like, y'all ready? So we good. You know, we got. Maybe the uh, man family emergency, yo. Man, you I'm sure when I turn my phone me? back on, it's gonna say something. Yeah, yeah Drake, yeah. you making excuses for? He ain't here. He um, ain't. I hold on, my God, man. The show must go on. Well, the lights is on. It's time. One monkey don't stop the show. I ain't gonna do that to him, man. Oh. So we got, you know, our yeah. Space yeah, 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 yeah. Rugs. Merch coming soon. Merch coming soon. Hoodies, hats, tumblers, golf, yeah. uh, 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 golf clubs, golf balls. Yeah. You name it, we got it. In house. We, 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 we ain't making that. that. We ain't making that. Golf. We got tote bags coming. Definitely do that. We need tote bags. Tote bag. We got tote. Yo, let me tell you something. When we go to Houston, right? Can I talk my talk real quick? When we go to Houston. I'm telling you right now, State Smoky TV, we swagged out. Some some people might have shoes. Some people might have the pajamas. Some people might have the swimming trunks, the tote bags, the backpacks, the duffels. You name it, I guarantee we're going to have it. Is it going to be for sales? No, I'm talking about that's we're we going to no, be the models. We're going to be the models. I'm about week. to say. We're going to bring black, it to life. Black about to be in the production, huh? We got the yeah. production. about to get in the lab, bro. What? Yes, sir. You gonna have these business cards and every guy, bye, bye, bye. They don't do business cards anymore. Your QR. QR. I got I got it. I got it. We cut it back on paper. Yeah, QR link, bro. No more so receipts and nothing. I was gonna. We gonna do I, stickers and shit. That's cute, and we can put the stickers in. The, I got it, yeah, yo. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. We can make it, and we got something down yeah, there. Yeah, so we definitely got. You know, he wants the schedule to come out because people, you know. I know, yo, the phone, yo, the phone, yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to Stogie Bay. I'm a, so for Houston Cigar Week, the schedule is so in depth. It was supposed to already come out, but it's so long we can't put it on one. Dang, <laughs> you got a lot popping this shit. Oh my god, it's about to be crazy. <sighs> well, I'm only doing selected events. Yeah, me too. This is gonna be this is gonna be retired. This is gonna be a party on our patio, bro. All right. I'm there. I'm ten steps away. Alrighty. You yeah. might have to set up. We might have to set up shop on on patio. Bro. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, we want to go live because we ain't gonna have all that equipment down there. Oh, you shouldn't meet. Yo, you ain't, ain't even included in the conversation. Oh yeah, I'm come, I'm, <laughs> I'm bringing that. Sh- I'm bringing the mics, all that shit, the mixer, all that. We get to bring oh. two suitcases. Oh, have fun with that, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna 
bring I'm gonna bring a case down some mics and shit. We only need what three, four mics, whatever. Yeah, we can, we can we going live. One speaker. <laughs> nah, we got um, out, we can, we got to see. We gonna, we gonna record out. some shit like we could probably do a bunch of mashup interviews and just make it the Houston Cigar Week edition. Okay. Episode. Episode. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. might be longer than an hour, but you know, a couple fifteen minute episodes. Man, I want to go to Charlotte. Man. Charlotte Cigar Week. That's I'm not go to Charlotte. I want to go to Charlotte. That's in April. That's okay. next month. That's no, what two I months do, from now. Man. That's what I want to do. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. We can't well, get away. I'm gonna be by myself. I sound we, like I'm gonna be by myself. We can get. Sound away. like a road trip. Nah, I sound nah. like I'm gonna be by myself. Uh, no. Gonna be one of three, yo. Nah, yo, because. One of four. No, I'm sorry. It's usually, it's one of four. It's usually my uh my son's birthday weekend. That's the only reason I ain't never been. Respect. But, Respect. But Respect. his mother taking him to Disney this year. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, I might be. Yeah. Okay, all right, we'll talk offline. Yeah, so I, I might can make that. Yeah, that was a good time. I ain't go last year, but I went the year before. You was down there with Pop when we was down there. Yo, right? had a fucking ball, bro. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you get a ticket? Because I know them tickets sell out fast down there because I heard like, people was like they couldn't get the I was just paying for shit. individual events. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Yeah, I might fuck with that. Yeah, I, I did Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You drove down? Yeah, it was five right. of us in the fucking. Hatchback. Oh, I ain't driving, <laughs> bro. I, I think we was, was you ain't driving to Charlotte, yo. Nah, what kind of bougie are you? Driving. What kind of bougie are you, yo? That's a six hour drive. AKA wrong with the points. Mm. Hey. AKA I, I, I drove the day five miles. <laughs> <laughs> I drove to Daytona, then I drove to Miami. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving. That's because you crazy. You drive fucking 72 hours a day. A day, huh? Yeah, yes, that's it for us this year. No show low. No show low. Uh, we got Dre, no show Dre low. Hey, he loading up again. We might get 45 more minutes out of him. Nah, we good. Yeah. We good. So, yeah. anybody got anything else? Zay Flowers. Oh, oh yeah, Zay Flowers said he got found not guilty. Congrats to that young brother where they suspended the investigation. He paid somebody. Congrats to that young brother because he could have been fucking mm-hmm. ruined his life. What was the charge, though? Domestic violence. Domestic violence. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me give a shout out. The Ravens paid for that. I was on vacation. My family notified me. My aunt Gladys passed away last Monday. She was a uh, matriarch of my my father's side of the family. And toast to Aunt Gladys. Aunt Gladys. Yes. Salute. 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 Hmm. So next week is just us, unless we get with uh. Who we talking about? Cross Street. Let's we get Cross Street. See, like we set up down there. We said so like if you call them and we can get up down there, we can uh, get everybody oh, oh, up here. Do, like five or ten minutes. You making the call right now? Yeah. Stories and shit. What up, nephew? Yo, my God, Jay, baby, what's good with you, chat? Man, I can't call it. What's up with you, dog? Man, nothing. We here on our Stay Smoky TV podcast. My man Ron said he oh, met. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jay. What up, baby? This motherfucker a banger, bro. <laughs> you ain't smoking when you had it down here? No, nope, I, I saved it to smoke while I was on this episode. Okay, okay. I, I knew you had bought one. Didn't know if maybe you had smoked one, liked it, and said, nah. man, I'm going to sit with it. I bought, the, I bought the joint with the blue band and a couple other ones. This joint a banger, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey Jay. That's what's up. Hey, this, this, this Dre, no, man. I met you up in Pittsburgh at Sh- with Sheldon. Sure. Up at, yeah, you remember? Yeah, yeah, I definitely remember. Man, what's going on, brother? My guy, man, listen, man, I'm I'm a little disappointed in you, man. I want to know why this light skinned motherfucker the only one in here sleeping <laughs> sick, man. <laughs> hey, 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 man, man, when I when I had met you, that cigar hadn't even been created yet. It just released in January. Okay, all right, well, you, well, well, you owe you owe me a next one, bro. Yeah, yeah, I got y'all. That's too easy. All right, man, but look, my man giving it great reviews right now, bro, so... This shit a banger, bro. So, so we, we putting it out there on Stay Smoky TV, man. It's a banger. Man, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad he liked it, man. That, that cigar came out uh, came out, came out, out dope, man. So uh, uh, just a blessing, man, but thank y'all for real, straight yeah, up. Yeah, you, you want to tell us a little bit about it while you're on? Yeah, yeah, I can. Um, so, man, the, the, the cigar really um, is a brainchild 
um, that I came with to honor the five years of Definition Cigars and 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 the team that I work with, right? So, um, the the brand has always been known as a Maduro forward brand, so it was important for me to to stay there. But uh, I used um, tobaccos uh, to create this blend of cigar uh, from blends that um, Definition Cigars has produced over the past five years. So it, it's it's a brand new blend, but it is it is um, um, tobaccos that I know. You know what I'm saying? So um, each each um, tobacco has either been a wrapper, binder, filler in 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 some respects. So the wrapper that's on this cigar um was used as a binder um in a couple other cigars the binder that's in this cigar was used as a wrapper and the uh the fillers are are all nicaraguan i'll give y'all that and it's it's just been a a, a cool um recipe um uh, that uh went along with the uh the wrapper and binder choice so um, that's what you get, my man. I appreciate that, man. I know this was an impromptu call, man. We appreciate it. We call you out the blue and put you on the spot. Yeah. Hey, as many calls as I get talking about some bullshit, I love this one, dog. <laughs> my God. My man, appreciate y'all. Already, Jay. I'm going to hit you up in a few. We got to talk about some things. Yeah, yeah. And, and Nev, uh, <laughs> I know how busy you are. Uh, I, I, I'll pull the um, I'll pull the um, um, the address off. I'm a, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send y'all a couple of these up there so 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 that y'all can uh, y'all can put your palate to it as well. Respect, respect, my man. Be right. safe, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Keep pushing. Keep doing that shit that y'all doing. It's needed. Thank you, man. Thanks, appreciate bro. you, baby. All right, y'all. All right. That's what we do here, at Steve Smith. So, Dre, you want to give me a hookah rating? <laughs> this this motherfucker. <laughs> five point five point oh. Point oh. <laughs> but man, yo, look, his hat low, eyes five low. Point oh. <laughs> he got me in the zone. <laughs> zone, 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 zone. Got me faded and feeling next rated. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, wow. Ready to make a baby? Yeah. 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 I'm just saying this definition, this joint, this joint, five point oh. Five puffs. With and without the eyes. Woo! Hey, that's the highest that's boutique oh, brand rating. We got the highest show. boutique brand rating. We got this shit ain't show. boutique, bro. <laughs> he need to be up there with the, with the, the rest and the best. Okay, I like that's that. That's amazing. Bro. I like yo, that. For real, like, we joking, yo, but... <laughs> Ron got a exquisite palate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. He ain't just gassing it up. You should see what I remember. First place he said... Yeah, oh like in the first place, hey, for, for first somebody to smoke four sticks a day, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. shit was trash. I'd have been like, yo, don't call that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that shit fire, bro. Oh, man. Jay, Jay, you, you hit it out the park yeah, with this one, yeah, bro. This yeah, is I official. Bro. I can't wait. I can't so wait. You, I know you want to rate this again. Yeah, I know what this is, man. This, this, <laughs> That's this, 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 this T52. This T52. This, I didn't need no rating. Yeah. So. <clears throat> mm mm mm. So, um, yeah, next week, we got see we got coming up next week. We either going to be here or across the street. Across the street. We'll, we'll, we'll know. Then after next that, uh, everybody know March is uh, Women's National Month. Women's, Women's Month. Month. Yeah. So we got to host this shit. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a good look. You know, stay tuned for that. We got some surprises. Well, some yo, shit going to happen. Why you ain't put black on camera for Black History Month then? <laughs> He did come. Yo, he did the toast with him. This hurry, tell him and look him up. I gotta be high. I can't be Malcolm X. I gotta be high. Nah, you more high. Time to go to bed. Malcolm X was fair. Yeah, yeah. Damn. But this motherfucker more Christmas ass. Yeah, you got it. Damn. Hey, we free now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Representing the Hulu Nation. You yeah, yo, shit just sat over here, yeah, yo. Yeah, he's he's like, like, yo, 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 y
Peace.